guys. So as you know, I've been gone for over a week. I was in New York for Fashion Week and I'm actually really glad to be home. As exciting as this trip was, um, I think it's always really nice to come back to your room because I really missed it. I've been living out of a hotel. I had to share a hotel room with Blair and Mom for over a week. It was so crammed and chaotic and there was stuff everywhere. I actually took a picture of our hotel room, but I'm like embarrassed to show people because it was I've never seen a hotel room so messy. But anyway, so I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. This is the first live video I've done in like a week and a half, so I kind of feel a little awkward. I hope that's not coming across as awkward, because that would be bad. I put up a video on the clandestine show that we walked in um, yesterday on my channel. So if you're watching this one, you haven't watched that one, go check it out. And that's the show that we actually got to walk the catwalk on, which was insane. But this video, I want to mainly focus on the show that was the very first event that we got to go to. It was Tuesday the 9th, and it was the Mini Mortimer fashion show. It wasn't a runway show. It was a presentation, which we learned what this was. I didn't know what this was. But basically, the models just deck out in the designer's clothing, and then they get their hair and makeup done, and they just stand. And people come and come to the party, and they, like, look at all the designs. So they kind of, the models are, like, real-life mannequins almost. So it's, it's different than a runway show, but it's still, like, like part of fashion week so we did that on Tuesday and we were actually the makeup artists for it which is insane because and kind of exciting and very nerve-wracking because Blair and I are not makeup artists you guys know this we have never claimed to be you know we're definitely not like trying to say we're like celebrity makeup artists or anything like that um, we started out just being like real girls, doing our videos in our bedroom, showing makeup tricks and all this stuff. We've never had training. Minnie wanted to do something fresh and young and unique with her show because her line is very like preppy with a twist. She um, describes it as like nautical. There was a lot of reds and blues. It was actually, her clothing was really, really cute. I definitely want to buy some of her pieces just because it was very like young and fresh and modern and the type of thing that you could wear like in high school to a party and stuff but you could still dress up if you're a little bit older so anyway many wanted to go a different route than like the traditional makeup artist and she wanted to have someone like me and Blair come in and just give a new perspective to the whole like makeup world so we decided um, to do like a bare face look with some cheek contouring very little on the eyes and then a like bright red orange lip because a lot of her clothes had like that burnt red color in it so we were like let's just go like all out on the lips and then make everything else nude um so it was kind of nautical with like the bright red lip and nyx cosmetics provided all the makeup for the show which was amazing mainly because i'm already familiar with the brand because i've used them in several videos probably like over 10 or 15 videos of mine so it was easy because I already knew like what the products did. Like the jumbo eye pencils, you know, I've used in several of my videos. And my favorite gloss of all time, Sweetheart by NYX. Um, that wasn't in the kit because it was not like bright red, but I would have loved to use that. I would have put it on myself. So Blair filmed a tutorial using the same products we used on the model. It's going up on her page today. So I'm going to link it. I'm obviously not going to do the same video on my channel because that would be really redundant. But I think I'm going to do another makeup look based on one of the trends I saw this this year at Fashion Week um, and that will be going up soon within probably a couple of days on this channel but go check out her video if you're interested in like how we did this look so Blair and I were running late we were gonna film like a little before the show kind of clip but we ended up vlogging from the taxi instead and the taxi driver was really mean to us he kept telling us we were really annoying and loud and that we needed to hush and we were being really annoying and loud I'll insert a clip here <laughs> We're in Times Square. Where? You're never a circle because you're square. <laughs> Did you hear that? She says you're in Times Square where you're never a circle. You're always a square. <laughs> <laughs> totally annoying. I'm aware. But then we got there. We got to the show. And um, the backstage area was actually really small. So I didn't get a ton of footage from backstage just because there, there physically wasn't room for me to stand and film. Um, it was like the size of a closet and there was models, hairstylists, makeup artists, press, all sorts of people like crammed into this little tiny closet. So I didn't get a whole lot of room to film back there, but I did film the actual show. <laughs>
was there and she actually walked in with like a really cute boy and they walked past and Blair was like oh my gosh that was Olivia from the city and I was like where all I saw was a cute boy but she actually looked right at our camera because we filmed her for a second as we were filming some of the models <laughs> So that was really exciting. One more thing before I end this video, I changed my Twitter account name because All That Glitters 21, the way I had it spelled, was very confusing to people. A lot of people couldn't find me, and even my own housemates were telling me how they had to like look me up every time they wanted to at reply me because they couldn't remember how my name was spelled. So I just changed it to a simple L Fowler, and if you already follow me on Twitter, you will still be following me because it's not a new account, it's just a new Twitter name. Um, but I'll link it in the sidebar just in case it's confused people because I think a lot of people did get confused, so I wanted to just address it. That's my new account. Um, so yeah, you can follow me on there if you want to, and I will be putting up more videos throughout the week.